This is the uh, transporter plates that are on the back of our tow trucks. You may have seen them on the backs of tow trucks, like those at Pete's Towing in South King County. It's a transporter plate, uh, different than the dealer plates. Uh, this is for transporting. Uh, anytime that uh, we're driving or towing anything away, if it's not valid, we have to have this plate displayed either on the back of our tow trucks or on the back of the unit being hauled. Criminals are using Washington transporter plates to conceal crimes like theft and drug running. The Washington transporter plates uh, two, three, four years ago started becoming more um, popular. About two thirds of the people who were stopped with the Washington transporter plates had criminal records. In May, we revealed records showing at least a half dozen eastern states have filed hundreds of complaints with the Washington Department of Licensing, DOL, about crimes involving Washington transporter plates. I know from my experience that people that are involved in the drug trade, transporter plate, dealer plate, those are highly sought after. The person's using it to conceal their identity because they're involved in criminal activity. This was one that, uh, um, that I didn't know about until uh, you brought it to my attention. I was glad to hear it. And uh, as it turns out, the uh, department was aware of it uh, already. State Representative Steve Kirby of Tacoma has now introduced House Bill 1269. It would start by limiting the number of transporter plates any one company can receive. People are, are buying, you know, multiple plates because they're so cheap. These guys just buy them and then just start handing them out like candy to their people who uh, basically commit criminal acts. Our investigation uncovered the case of Gerald Scully of Connecticut, who ordered Washington plates in the name of Yakima Auto Transport, a fictitious company he created. He rented the plates out on Craigslist to criminals in Connecticut and people with suspended driver's licenses. He easily got dozens of plates from DOL for a small fee. What did they cost? Like two or three bucks a piece? Um, uh, you know, that's not uh, very much for bad guys. House Bill 1269 would limit a company to three sets of transporter plates and raise the fees to cover the actual costs. The transporter tags allow a criminal to have a valid plate on their car that comes back to a fake company, a plate that is virtually untraceable. Our investigation showed that even when caught, DOL took little action against offenders. I think the bill needs to include some disciplinary action. The Department of Licensing, which declined interview requests, has never explained why it didn't act after years of complaints about transporter plates. In a written statement this week, a spokesperson says, we recognize changes need to be made to the vehicle transporter law to address the issues of misuse identified in your story, and that DOL is working closely with the legislature. In an unprecedented legislative session, with COVID slowing the pace, Representative Kirby can't be sure that his bill will even get a vote. But he's confident that DOL is now making enough administrative changes that it can keep licenses out of the hands of criminals, both on the roads here and in other states. Chris Ingalls, King 5 News.